Hey, my name's Matt, and uh, I'm here at Black Rock Coffee with my business partner, Mike, and uh, we're here to show off our new sign done by Trotech uh, in laser cut acrylic. This is something that uh, we put a lot of work into and it turned out better than we ever could have imagined. As you can see, uh, we have a couple different pieces. This one on the bottom is actually a bunch of different pieces that we cut and assembled at the shop. And uh, it's, it's with different types of acrylics. Some is a little bit more translucent, uh, some is more opaque. And again, we couldn't have imagined it coming out any better. So our mural artist uh, designed this with quite a few colors and we when we initially sent it over to Trotec we weren't sure if we were going to be able to get all the colors we wanted, uh, but Trotec has a massive array of different colored acrylic and it was a breeze. They said, uh, we've got everything you need and, and we went back and checked out the warehouse and it was a wall of every different color you can imagine. So uh, it was really nice that they were able to accommodate all of our color preferences. And so the top piece was done uh, very similarly to the bottom as well. It has one uh, backer piece that encompasses the entire shape and then three different pieces of acrylic that are laser cut and we assemble them together on the back. The laser allows us to have a, a tolerance of essentially zero error. So the backer piece lined up exactly perfectly with every piece we cut out and it was a breeze to put together. So we went with acrylic for a few different reasons. Uh, the first is obviously this is an outdoor sign, so we wanted something that's going to live up to the elements. Uh, being acrylic, we don't have to worry about it rotting or um, discoloring or anything like that. So it stands up to the test of time and any weather conditions really well. Uh, another reason that we wanted to use acrylic is that the colors really pop on acrylic. Um, so as you can see, I mean, it's really visible from the street, especially these bright greens really glow very nicely. So it's really eye catching. And uh, the third reason is we do want to backlight it with some lights. So having some of the transparent and clear acrylic will allow us to have certain sections light up and certain sections be opaque. So it's really versatile going with the acrylic. So our clear sign here with the name is actually done using a kiss cut method where the laser pretty much engraves on the backer board uh, the template of where our letters are going to go and then each individual letter was cut out of the white acrylic and we stuck them on and uh, having the kiss cut background allowed us to put it perfectly aligned on here and make it look really really nice. So uh, the logo is actually done using the Troglass reverse acrylic and what this is is essentially a clear acrylic panel with a very thin layer of coloring so a very thin layer of black. What we were able to do is use the laser cutter to remove that small layer of color and leave a clear outline of our actual coffee logo shape. After that, we spray painted the entire back of the piece white, and what it does is allows the logo to really pop. We're going to put some lights on the back, and having just that layer of spray paint will allow the logo to really shine and light up and look fantastic. So the, the Troll Glass Reverse Acrylic is an amazing product, and uh, it, it just works so well and looks fantastic. Black Rock Coffee opened just under a year ago, I'd say something about nine months and it is connected to Basecamp Climbing, uh, which is the most central climbing gym in the city. Both of these businesses opened up in the old Metro Theater, which is an old adult movie theater. It was vacant for around five years and kind of sitting as a sore thumb in the neighborhood. We took over the building, opened up the climbing gym. Now we have uh, the coffee shop as well. We are now fully licensed as well. So we're trying to turn this place into a community hub for the uh, Bloor and Christie community. Uh, the name Black Rock actually is a bit of a, a nod to the Burning Man community, as uh, the city that is constructed for Burning Man is called Black Rock City. And we've had a lot of people from that community pitch in to do different uh, artwork, murals, design, construction, and uh, they've really embraced this project. And so we've, we've decided to do a little bit of a uh, a friendly nod to them by using the name Black Rock. So I'm Matt from Black Rock Coffee. We're located at Bloor, just near Bathurst. 
You can check us out uh, in the description below is our Facebook link and go there, check out some of our offerings and come on, stop by and have a coffee.